Experience Quito, Ecuador through visiting service volunteers at the center of Family of Families. We bring you the third of a five-part series following their work in the center's connection to the Papal Foundation, the only U.S. charity that exclusively fulfills the requests of the Holy Father. Pope Francis. My name is Olivia Young and I'm collaborating here at the Center of Family of Families in Quito, Ecuador. I pray that you continue to share the Jesuits' mission of accompaniment and may the world continue to follow your example. Our mission here is to walk alongside the vulnerable and the marginalized. I pray that our work, truly a work of God, continues on. Since our inception in 1964, we have served and accompanied more than 7,000 families. An average center member lives on $2.45 a day. Nearly 300 tons of food since March of 2020 were provided to our families as well as to the local community. And then in 2022 alone, more than 34,000 hours of social work as well as pastoral care were provided to our community. We also have an impact report done that shows that 75% of our community leaves the cycle of generational poverty forever. We offer this type of service learning experience for high schools, parishes, colleges to learn about what service looks like. I always say it's like planting the seed and it really is something so important and critical for our mission to continue is so that people know about our work. The center is one of our partnerships that we come into contact with. Being a family of families and underlining with the Jesuit values and the mission just works so well with what we want to do at Spring Hill College and what we want our students to see. The most meaningful one for me would be the Minga because um, we worked with the family and um, it was my community with their community all together. Minga is an indigenous word that means community work group. So it is everyone coming together. It could be staff, it is our volunteers, it is our visiting groups, our families as well participate in Mingas. So we go to a family's house and help in any sort of project they may need. And since 1995, we've had over 550 Mingas. La sala, aquí. La sala para que se sienten, aquí. Aquí duerme el Joel. Le hicimos así con unas cortinas para que él duerma aquí. Tiene su privacidad. Sí, aquí tenemos el, el, mi ropa de Jocelyn, aquí los platos, no hay más. Esta es mi cocina. Aquí cocino y aquí en esta mesa siento para, para picar. Tengo dos hijos, tuve tres pero una niña perdí y tengo dos que es, es Jocelyn Gavin que tiene 12 años, 13 años, eh, Joel que tiene 22 y mi esposo Eduardo 
tiene 46 y yo tengo 45. Nosotros nos pasamos el 4 de febrero del 2021, ya tres años. Y tenemos un cuartito, ahí dormimos yo con la Jocelyn y mi esposo. Irme a vivir allá porque aquí me entra mucha agua y allá por lo menos aunque con, con zinc, aunque no sea losa, porque no hay para losa, aunque sea con zinc, pero voy a estar un poquito mejor por el baño y mi familia, como digo, mis hijos y el centro. Ah, son mi familia. A mí me han ayudado mucho también en mi hogar, porque yo más antes tenía muchos problemas. Y esto de la psicología me ha ayudado mucho. He podido sobrellevar estos últimos tiempos. Nos estamos llevando bien. Claro que en el hogar siempre hay problemas, pero sí, sí nos estamos llevando un poco mejor. Hemos dejado muchas cosas, dando gracias a Dios al centro, que sí me han apoyado. Y eso hay que aprender a valorar y a recibirlos con los brazos abiertos. Y confiar en Dios.